Hi, I'm with Husky Robotics team, FRC Team 3061. And I'm here to demonstrate using ADC values received from the Husky board with LabVIEW. So right now, our setup is what we had before with the LEDs, powered by powered through 5 volts with a 3.3 volt signal. And then, but this time, we added a potentiometer. This potentiometer is plugged into ADC pin 1. The LEDs are plugged into GPIO port 0. And as you can see, the code right now is running, and you can lower it all the way down to 0, bring it all the way up to max intensity. Now I'm going to go through the code for that demonstration I just showed. If you've watched our previous LED uh, tutorial, you'll notice that this is the exact same thing for that tutorial, with a couple of minor changes. I'm going to go over the whole uh, LED, LED setup again, just in case you haven't seen that video. And then I will go on about the analog input and setting the L LED intensity. So first, before the loop begins, we are going to get several things for the LED configuration. And that is the LED strip channel, which is the pin the LEDs are plugged into, and we can see that it's pl plugged into GPIO0. Next, we have the LED model. This is the, for NeoPixel models, and we're using the WS2812 model. We also support the WS2812B model. Next is your strip length. This is the number of LEDs in your strip. We have it set to 100. Now, these values go right into the Husky board configure LED. Of course, we do this after we open the Husky board. Once those values are set, we go right into the while loop. We're going to skip past the AI and LED intensity part for now and go right to the RG, setting the RGB. This is going to get a uh, live view color, split it into its RGB values, and then put those individual RGB values into the VI. Here we have the start channel and end channel. Now by channel it really means the LED. So this one we're starting at the, at the zero LED and ending at at the zero LED. Now that is actually going to set the first LED on. Let's say you want to set the first and second one on, you go zero, one, because LEDs start at zero. If you want them all off, you'd have to use the LED clear screen, or clear LED VI. So th that's the start and end channel. And that goes into the set LEDs and is sent off, and that, that information is sent off to the Husky board. Okay. Now I'm going to go over the analog input. So before the loop starts, we're going to grab the analog input channel. Now I have this set to, well, it should be set to one because we are we are plugged into the first ADC pin, which is actually one, not zero, different than the NeoPixel LEDs and set LED RGB. And once that is established, we go right, that goes right into the read AI poly VI. Now this is a poly VI. So you can set it to a AI single channel or read AI all channels. Now you notice that read AI all channels has no input. It just grabs all the all the um, analog inputs and then outputs them as an and outputs a two actually arrays of scale voltage and raw, vol raw values. Let me set that back to the single. Now I'm going to go over what's happening here. So we are getting we're getting a scale voltage which goes from 0 to 3.3 volts and the raw voltage which goes from 0 to 4095. There's no, there's no specific measurement it is just a number to indicate the max and min value. And what we're doing with that right here is we're taking the raw voltage, dividing it by 4095 to get a percentage, and then multiplying that by 100, which is the max intensity for the LED. And then we're passing that value into the set LED intensity VI. 
Now, we are not using the scale voltage because that goes from 3.3 to 0 to 3.3 volts and wouldn't be as accurate for our purpose here. One more thing. Down here, you see that we have the update frequency. This is how many times a this is how many times it is sent. The information is resent to the rubber wheel. So you'll notice if we have it set to fairly low, the intensity will change very slowly and look very choppy. But you can obviously bring that up and make it much smoother. One more thing about reading analog voltages from the board is that you're not just limited to setting LED intensities. You can attach many different kinds of uh, sensors that output um, different voltages based on what they are receiving. And you can you can use this for all types of purposes within your programs for your robot. And that is the um, ADC tutorial.